Hey everybody, and welcome back to Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. We'll take here. And we are finally going to progress with the story. How about that? Oh, Aina. Still, Joshua, am I glad I found you too? Oh, hi, Aina. Something wrong? You seem to be in quite a hurry. We've got a bit of a problem. Is your father at home today? Yes, he is. He said something about having to sort out a bunch of documents. But what's going on? You know Luke and Pat, right? Sure we do. In fact, we saw them not that long ago. Yeah, uh, uh, an hour ago in game time. <laughs> something like that. Because I've been doing that other video. What's wrong? Are they in some sort of trouble? I don't know how to say this, but... I just heard from Uni that Luke and Pat ran off to the tower that lies in the northern outskirts of Roland. You mean the Tower of Ismailas? Yeah, they ran out of town. Obviously. Go to their secret base. Isn't that place supposed to be a breeding ground for monsters? That's what they say. Unfortunately, at the moment, Sherazade is out on other brazen business. So I want to ask your father to bring the boys home safely. What are you talking about? There's no time for that. Joshua and I will go after them and bring them back. I don't know if that's such a good idea. The two of you only just qualified to be junior bracers today. With all due respect, I believe that Estelle's judgment is correct in this situation. If the two of us hurry, we may even be able to catch up with the boys before they reach the tower. I understand. I will take responsibility for whatever happens. As an emergency request from the Bracer Guild, I ask that you lose no time in bringing about the safe return of these children. Roger that. Understood. Esmila's tower can be reached by talking, taking the western path at the junction along the Malka Trail. You can get onto the Malka Trail through Roland's northwest gate. I'll be on standby at the guild, so if you run into any trouble, you know where to find me. Couldn't she just come with us? I guess she has to run the guild while we're... So there is, it isn't left unattended. Would have been easier if you just came along. This is our first real job. Come on, Josh. Don't have any time to lose. I'm right behind you. Alright. We have to go to the Malga Trail. Alright. Uh, which way? This way. This. And here we go. Alright. It's gonna be quite a bit of a journey. I'm gonna fight every monster I find on the way and this one isn't so good so I'm already gonna be surprise attacked I'm looking elsewhere and being attacked by the monsters instead of me attacking them but uh, we'll see you at the tower so see you in a bit not a thing remains in the chest except the lonely dead spider Yeah, you get these things, these lines for every single and every single chest, and there's a special line for every chest. Wait, was that the right way? Yeah, there was no other way. All right, let's continue. That's that then. Let's move out. Level 4! I still learned on it. Well, that was quick. I thought it would be level 10 or something. Alright, here we are. The big tower with the ch where Pat and Luke went. Their secret base. It looks, it looks like we've come all the way to the Esmeralda's Tower. Didn't see any sign of them along the trails. I think they wandered inside. It's quite likely that's the case. It 
it's quite likely that's the case. Let's go in. It looks like we'll need to hurry. Right. There he is, you can't. Esmond's tower, first floor. Pat's voice. It's dark in here. I'm scared. Quit being a baby. We're only on the first floor of this place. Did you hear that? They really did come in here. Yes. Still. Oh, oh wait, inhale. Still, are you alright? Luke! Pat! If you can hear me, answer me now! Pretending they can't hear me. They might have climbed up to the second floor. Let's hurry and see if we can find them. Alright. There shouldn't be any monsters in here. I think. At least first up on the second floor. Yeah, here we are. What are we going to do? Somebody help! Uh, let's not rush ahead. I can pick right now. Run full speed in the direction of the voice. I guess I should r rush in with Joshua so we stay as a group instead of... Yeah, it's getting split up. So let's, let's go, Joshua. Right, I've got your back. You must just go somewhere else. No! Shoot! Shoot! Leave us all alone! Do you want this? <laughs> Damn! They one-shotted them. I couldn't do that in my combats. That's not fair. Still, what are you doing here? Joshua, you're here too. Get back, you two. These monsters aren't playing around. We'll take care of them. Right. Hint to protect all NPCs. Yeah, so up in the right corner you can see Luke and Pat there. No bars. If an NPC's HP reaches zero, the game is over. So they can't be decayed, they just die. Uh what do we do? We just go ahead and kill that thing. Dead. That was not one shot. That was two. These, these three are apparently stronger than the other two. They just killed them when they entered. Not before they entered the battle. And even the NPCs got turns. It's awesome. Alright. We're good to go. So, what now? It looks like that's that. Yeah, I'm glad everyone's safe too. By the way, that was great timing you the way you blitzed those monsters and stuff. You really think so? Is it safe now? Oh man, that was awesome. <laughs> Jumping around really showed them it's not bad for a girl. A little troy Ow, that hurts. What are you trying to do to me? What's wrong with you? You dragged poor Pat all the way up here against his will. Come here. It's time to think about what you did today. <laughs> Shaking. It's like a vibrator. Ow! You're hurting me! Stop it! I said stop it, you violent she-devil! So this is the thanks I get for saving your neck, huh? Looks like it's time to give you some of my special discipline. 
Ow, 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 ow. Alright, it's still. I'm sorry, everything was all my fault. I imagine her pulling his ears. <laughs> um, still? Shouldn't we forgive each other like they teach at school? Uh oh. What's that? It's like a, sh a shark. A land shark? This breath doesn't need forgiveness, but a little discipline should do the trick. Still, behind you! It's something with teeth, isn't it? Yeah. It's a hammerhead shark. A nice monster. I'm not going to make it in time. <laughs> Holy Jesus. Hello, Dad. Huh? Dad, you came. Still lacks skill and understanding. Still. You must always prepare for unseen danger by sharpening your senses. That's part of what it means to be a bracer. Dad? What are you doing? I just happened to be in town and heard the whole story from my ear. I'll give you points for your quick thinking and taking action to come after the children. You fail to follow through completely. I really messed up, didn't I? It's a good thing you showed up when you did. I'm sorry. I should have been watching her back. That just means that you have room for improvement. Constantly working to overcome your weak spots is the key. Understood. So how about we head home, everyone? Can you boys walk? I think so. That was incredible, Mr. Bright. Well, like a gazillion times more awesome than still. <laughs> of course I was. I'm her father. All right, everyone, let's file on out of here. I'm with you, Mr. Bright. Coming in here and snatching off Glory. Yeah, exactly. Who's the Glory Hawk now? I mean, I guess I should be thankful that Dad saved my time. Why does he have? go and take all the credit like that. It really chaps my hide. <laughs> That's just the way he is. After all, he is Cassie, he is bright. Yeah. It's like a legend out there in the world. Seems like you've had quite a day. That is just unbelievable. The second we get back to Roland, he says, I'll leave the reporting to you and takes off for home. The sheer nerve, I tell you. There's no need to make a mountain out of a molehill over it. At least the boys came back safe and sound. Anyway, I think that's all there is to report. Alright. Child rescue. 1000 mirror and free PP. Nice. So we got some money now. I guess we should get some better weapons then. Or some body armor. Or some shoes. We'll see. You did well for your first assignment. The details of your report alone, I believe I can commend you both for a job well done. You should be proud of yourselves. You really think so? I know so. In fact, you'll do even better on your next job. If anything else comes up, I would appreciate your help again. Sure. Oh, she's so down. How about we head home to... I guess we'd better. Still got dinner to prepare. Would you mind holding on a second? A letter arrived for your father just a little while ago. Unfortunately, since he went straight home, I never got a chance to give it to him. Do you think you could deliver it instead? I wonder if it's, if it's more work related stuff. I imagine so. The letter appears to be from one of her, our foreign branches. One of the guild's foreign branches? As I'm sure you already know by now, Libel isn't the only country where the Bracer Guild exists. On top of that, your father is widely known all across the Sumerian continent, so we can expect these kinds of letters from that time. If you two want. If you two would be so kind as to make sure that he gets this letter, I would really appreciate it. Alright, uh, that's it I guess. Are there any, no, no current jobs on the bulletin board. So let's just head home. Alright. More? Hey, 
Joshua. Hmm? Do you think I'm really cut out to be a brazer? Well, you seem to have inherited your father's skill with the staff. Your nose know, personality doesn't let you ignore someone in distress. Really? You think so? Sure, but why are you asking? Are you still thinking about what happened back at the tower? Yeah. Because of my carelessness, Luke almost got caught in the middle of a dangerous situation. If that hadn't come when he did, he could have been seriously injured. Land shark. Shit. Guess I'm just worried about whether or not I'll be able to stay on top of things in the future. That kind of talk doesn't sound like the Estelle I know. Huh? If we fail today, then all that's left to do is take back our losses tomorrow, right? Just thinking and worrying about things that haven't happened yet. It's definitely not like you. Isn't being a bracer what you've always dreamed of? How can you expect to succeed if you let something like what happened today discourage you? It's an amazing message. Joshua. You're right. This isn't like me at all. I don't think a serious expression really suits your face either. You laughing like a big ditz is far more natural for you. Hey, what's that supposed to be? You're gonna see my angry expre expression if you keep that up. <laughs> okay, I admit that last comment was pushing things a bit. I'll have a look at it this time. Thanks for cheering me up. I don't know about you, but I'm so ready to get home and eat. My stomach just started growling like a bear. Maybe I've been disclosed. Mark deaths. Alright, and here it is. Right family house. Alright. Dad! Dad, are you home? Where, where is he? Um. Oh, there he is. We're home, Dad. We finished reporting to the guild like you told us to. Good work, kids. Details of your reports will be reviewed at each bran branch and will affect your pay and rank advancement in the future. Please make sure that you always remember to do it. Don't worry, we will. Before I forget, I got that copy of the libel news you wanted. It was this letter for you at the guild, too. Hand it over, the libel news, and letter. A letter, huh? Well, I'm going to get cleaned up and start there. Oh, and Dad? Um, thanks for coming when you did today. You really helped me out back there. I see, you're being rather gracious today. Papa is happy. How delightful that my daughter has finally understood that a great man, what a great man her father truly is. There's no need to go back, still. Come and jump into your father's loving arms. In your dreams. I swear, the men in this house have one thing in common. They never, they never know when to shut up. Uh, I don't know about Joshua, but Cassius is probably... I guess she's not as depressed as I had thought she'd be. Should I be thanking you, Joshua? Didn't do much. Just gave her a push in the right direction. Still a resilient girl to begin with. Yes, she is. But she still has a long way to go. She'll run into more than just a few stumbling blocks in this life. Overcoming those obstacles is what will teach her to stand on her own two feet. There's that soft side of yours talking again. What happened? <laughs> oh no! Are eggs supposed to explode like that? <laughs> I guess I shouldn't have gone in expecting to make a perfect meal in a single try. No, wait. Cooking is supposed to be about passion. Exploding eggs are passionate, right? Now, once more! Oh damn. It's gonna make the kitchen explode if that keeps going. That daughter of mine can sometimes be a little too passionate. I think I'll go help with dinner. We don't want the curtains to catch fire again. Exactly. But at this rate, there's no telling when we can expect to have a bite of food ready on the di dinner table. <laughs> Alright then, let's see what this letter is all about, shall we? Mm. 
Hesius cuts the letter sealed. Hmm, a message from the Erebonian Empire. Oh, it, it gets serious now. The music stopped. Hmm. What? Well, no more. Wow, this is a surprise. This new dish is what I call Stella's ex explosion over rice. Be sure to savor every last morsel. I will. Your cooking this evening is excellent. My compliments to the chef. You're probably part of it, Joshua. So compliments to yourself as well. Mm -hmm. This is raw talent at its best. Today certainly has been a busy but great day nonetheless. Qualified as junior braces, and our first real assignment, and I didn't even lose my eyebrows making dinner this time. It's been a good day. Not to mention the food being delicious, for a first at attempt at this dish is actually quite edible. At first, I thought I might have to pitch it out the window when you weren't looking, but it seems that that technique won't be necessary tonight. Way to go, you're very honest, Cassius. Sometimes you're just so despicably rude, Dad. Don't you know how to be humble and just say something tastes nice? Alright then, how about this? Boy, I never thought I'd be able to eat something wonderful like this before. I had to leave on business. Wait to skip in that. You made a splendid meal, Esther. Thanks, Dad. Wait, business? Are you really leaving again? Yes. Something unexpected came up. This time, I'm going to be away for a while. Hold on a minute. You're leaving when? Tomorrow morning. What? I don't care what kind of job you're doing. That's just too soon. It's about that letter, isn't it? Was there some sort of incident? Oh, it's nothing like that. Just a simple investigation. I'll have to visit a number of places, so it'll take me about a solid month before I'm through. That being the case, please take good care of the house while I'm away. What do you mean, that being the case? Always use some vague excuse like that and take off for who knows how long. We have to we have to accept it, Estelle. The Brazer's job is to help those who come to us for help. I know, I know, but what are you going to do about all your jobs here at the Roland branch? You're all, you've already accepted a few of them, haven't you? Oh, only about five or six. <laughs> only a little. So I was. So I was thinking, and how about the both of you handle them for me instead? What? Are you really asking us to do the work that you're supposed to be doing? That I am, and I'll have you do the ones which I think you can accomplish. And I'll ask Sherazad to handle the difficult ones. So what do you say? I'd like to, but... or sure. Mm. Uh, maybe I, I don't know. He's he's kind of secretive about it. So maybe we should say but. But I don't know. Maybe we should just be kind to our dad for once. No, we want to know what's going on. I th I think that's this answer anyway. I'd like to, but when I think about how I messed up today. Oh, oh. Ah, I didn't want to pick that. Is it really okay to leave these jobs in the hands of new recruits? Comparatively speaking, none of the jobs are that difficult. But there are a few in which you would be entrusted with someone's life. I'm not going to force you to do anything, however. I'm not, ah, I'm not going to force you to do anything, however. I would like to, you to sit down and think about it. I don't know. What do you think, Joshua? I agree with that on this one. Besides, I think it would be a great experience for the both of us. Guess I shouldn't read too much into the choices I get. I should just answer the way they sound. Hmm, alright. 
I know as junior braces we're only like half a bracer each, but there are two of us and two halves make a whole, right? Don't you think we can manage these jobs as long as we make sure to back each other up? Two halves make a whole, huh? I think you're right, Josh. That will do them for you. <laughs> it all ended the way it would have if I chose the other selections or whatever. In fact, I'm really excited to do them now. Then it's settled. I'll stop by the guild and let Aina know about the change of plan before I leave. By the way, Dad, which flight will you be on tomorrow? The one headed for Gransel or the one headed for Bozen? I'll be on the one headed for Gransel. My flight departs at 10 o'clock in the morning. That means I'll have to get up a little earlier tomorrow. I'd better set my alarm clock just in case. Alright, and then it's night. Did you remember to set it, Estelle? It's something big. Dad. You still awake, Joshua? You better hold off on the liquor or Estelle will get mad again. Oh, what's that? Is that like a little glass of whiskey or something? A scotch? This is just my way of lifting my spirits before I travel. How about yourself? Would you like to join me for a drink? I'll pass. Actually, what I should be saying here is don't offer alcohol to minors. Yeah, I'm not like Shara jump at any chance to enjoy a drink or ten. <laughs> That's because she holds her leg much better than I do. Something real serious happening, isn't there? There's no conclusive evidence, but there appears to be some sort of movement within the Empire. The Erebonian Empire? That sounds pretty suspicious. This movement doesn't appear to be overt. That's what has me worried. I intend to do a little probing at the Erebonian em Embassy to see what turns up. Understood. I'll make sure to look after Estelle while you're gone. Don't you spoil that girl, you hear me? Now that she's become a bracer, she needs, she needs to learn to look after herself. Estelle will be fine. She's got good in instincts and despite being a bit rough around the edges, she has talent with the staff as well. There's no doubt in my mind that she'll be a first-class bracer someday. Yet at present, she's like a baby in arms. Babe in arms. Who knows nothing about the realities of the world around her. At some point in time, she'll have to choose which path to follow in life. And Joshua, the same, th the same thing can be said for you too. It's already been five years since you've a part of this family, hasn't it? And how time does fly. Yes, it sure does seem that way. About what you said back then, are you sure you won't reconsider taking those words back? What did he say? What did he say? I actually don't know. Where? Well, for me, keeping my word is what defines who I am. If I can't do something as simple as that, I don't know how I could live with myself. I know this may sound stubborn, but I can't take back what I said. I'm sorry. There's no need to apologize, but I'd like you to remember this. No matter what path you choose in life, you can't erase these past five years. Stella and I will always be your family. No matter what may befall you. Yes. Thanks, Dad. And then we're at the start. Prologue. A father's love. A new beginning. Moving on. And the next morning at the... Right. This is probably gonna make a lot of noise, so you probably can't hear, hear me as well. 
Well, it looks like it's time for me to board my flight. Still, don't do anything I wouldn't do myself. Try not to be a handful of Joshua either. For up, up the tenth time, I heard you already. How about you try not to go overboard yourself with your own work? You're not getting any younger, you know. Say what you will, but I'm not about to be overtaken by any youngsters. Teresa, I'm really sorry about placing all this work on your shoulders at the last minute. Please don't be. I'm slightly concerned, however, about whether or not I can do a decent job in your place. There's no need to be humble, silver streak. And I don't need to make your life any more difficult. Please keep an eye on these two. Leave that to me. Tightening up the reins and not spoiling these two fine with you. Definitely, definitely understand the way I think. Rough. <laughs> What's this all about? <laughs> it looks to me like mutual, a mutual understanding between the master and <laughs> Ding dong! Oh, twice. The Grand Cloud Airliner, Linda. Shortly. All passengers will support the measure now. Oh, uh, I better take my seat. Bye, Daddy. Have a great trip, Dad. I'll take care of everything here while you're gone. Oh, uh, let's be cheerful for once. I guess we'll be cheerful. Let's take this. I'm not sure everywhere you'll be going, but don't forget to bring me back a souvenir. A little fancy something would be nice. Hey now, this trip is for business, not pleasure. It's like it's, it's making me feel like I'm picking the wrong choices. Hey now, this trip is for business, not pleasure. If I have any money left over, I'll certainly think about it though. <laughs> Alright, you two. Be good while I'm gone. What an airship. Bye, Daddy. Lift off. He's gone. Again. Yeah. Come on, you two. No need to look so down. Your father will be back in no time. I don't know what kind of investigation he's been asked to do this time. But when it comes to your father, he'll have it done before you know it. I'm not sad that he's gone. He's always been away more than he's been at home. Alright, alright. If you say so. Anyway, I'm going to get to work on those jobs your father left me. If you run into any trouble, give me a holler. Will do. But first, I'd like to try and finish a few jobs with Joshua. I want to see what we're capable of doing as junior racers. Mm -hmm. If you insist, I imagine that with Joshua tagging along, there's probably not much to be worried about. Good luck, you two. Thanks. We'll do our best. Yeah. So what do you want to do now, Estelle? Shall we go stop by the guild? Yeah, we should probably talk to Aina and find out what jobs are waiting for us. Let's go! Alright. I'm gonna leave the episode here. So, thanks, thank you all so much for watching. And uh, we'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye, everybody.